there's nothing that I love more than a good argument. Actually, the sheer joy of debate and engaging intellectually on a topic where uh, two people have different opinions and, well, I don't know, it, 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 it brings joy to my spirit, um, which is why I was a little bit concerned when I found out that being argumentative apparently is a bad thing when I thought that perhaps it was my ministry gift to join me on the program from Family Life. Um, Vanna Jacobs, kia ora. Kia ora. Good morning, Andrew. Can we have an argument about whether or not being argumentative is a good thing or a bad thing? Yes, it is. No? Well, you know, I um, I had to take my own uh, foot out of my mouth there sometimes as well because, uh, yeah, talk about debate. I, I'm right up there in yep. front of the line saying, hey, let's have a good rumble about things. We can still be friends afterwards, right? Surely, yes. Yeah, and, and I, yeah. I, I suppose that's the thing, really, isn't it? That you can engage in uh, a bit of verbal gymnastics from time to time as long as it's not... I suppose beating the other person down as long as it's has the the other person's best interests at heart that it's that the rules of the game are applied fairly and everybody is is playing as they intended is, is that fair enough we might need a referee well, sometimes well well here's the thing right here's the thing um where does our argumentation come from like why why do we even argue when we do you know there's one thing to debate a thing it's another thing to want to be right um, but it's another thing maybe to want your own way. Yeah. And, you know, we're talking about marriage. We're talking about this covenant, lifelong relationship, two people becoming one. And as part of this oneness process, it's not about which one you become, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah. So there's no fight to be one here. There's actually a merging of one. So I'd like to propose and suggest today that having an argumentative nature or approach or even a habit in your marriage is actually quite destructive mm. and we're talking about the the bricks and the hammers remember the hammers yep, yep. being the sledgehammer that knocked down the wall and then the bricks being what we're trying to build into our relationship so let's talk about argumentative nature or being argumentative you mm -hmm. know for a moment yeah when was the last time or have you ever andrew um one and I'm talking intellectually. I'm not talking about the consequence. I'm just talking okay. intellectually. Have you ever won an argument with your spouse? <laughs> uh, I don't think I ever have. Uh, okay. Usually, well, and, and look, some some of this may be because of the consequences. Because um, I I think there's a there's a slippery slope between being verbally combative and bullying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And you 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 want to recognise when you're sliding too much towards the other thing, uh, and and yeah, because we we sometimes we like to dig in, right? Yeah, yeah. Especially when we're there's two different views, and it's like, but I know that I know that I know that my view on this is exactly. Correct. And but but hey, so, sometimes when I I realise that that hey, I can hold my opinion, but I I'm not going to be able to convince my wife to have my opinion if that's not her opinion. And right. for me to persist down this path, it's just not going to end well. You know what you know and, what I'm saying? And, and that's wisdom, yeah. And you look, I, I like always, um, you know, when, when when I'm talking to people that's sort of stuck in this space, you know, the question is not whether or not you're right, because often we argument, we 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 end up in an argument because we want to be right, yeah, because we have a view, and because they don't hold our view, we think like we must be wrong mm. you know so there's a there's a there's actually a flawed thinking in that binary approach to just right or wrong or just one aspect can be right now there are certain absolutes uh, I, I get that but here's a here's the thing i like to say is being correct doesn't mean you connect <laughs> yeah and in marriage you know what's more important because let's say you rumble it out let's say you got a good solid argument and you really beat your spouse down you know intellectually you win the argument. Mm -hmm. You still go to bed with the loser, right? Yeah, and and hey, now you've got a grumpy wife for for a long period of time, or you know, reverse yeah. the reverse the table. That that or, that hey, if if you've won intellectually, how are they feeling about things? Have you put their yeah. best interests? Have you put their interests ahead of your own? No, you haven't. Yes, and so listen to what the Bible says in James. Um, what is the cause of your conflicts and quarrels with each other? 
doesn't the battle begin inside of you as you fight to have your own way mm. and fulfill your own desires? You jealously want what others have, so you begin to see yourself as better than others. You scheme with envy and harm others to selfishly obtain what you crave. That's why you quarrel and fight. Yeah. And all the time you don't obtain what you want because you don't ask God for it. Yeah. So is 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 when we step into that space, we've actually believed the lie that I need to fight to get what I want. Mm-hmm to get my opinion, to get my position, to get whatever I'm, I'm, I'm arguing about or arguing for, it's, it's actually rooted in this, this underlying issue of maybe even our, our distrust in God yeah. and our lack of actually asking God for what we need and not having to fight our way to get what we need. Mm. So, so may I suggest a better way and a better way of building oneness and a better way of actually leading to better understanding in your relationship. So if the hammer is argumentativeness, yeah. then the brick we want to build with is empathy. Okay. Now, you might think, but how are these two things related? And they're not directly related. However, when you have empathy, you are more likely to take your um, spouse's point of view rather mm-hmm. than trying to fight for your own. Yeah. So listen to what the uh, dictionary says about empathy. This is uh, the Merriam Webster definition. It's the action of understanding, being aware of, being sensitive to, and vicariously experiencing the feelings, thoughts, and experiences of another. So it's that experiencing bit. Yeah. You know, and then the difference between sympathy and empathy uh, sympathy and empathy can both refer to a caring response yep. to the emotional state of another person, but a distinction between them is made in this way that um, while sympathy is just feeling a concern for someone, mm-hmm. empathy is when you're actually experiencing their um, their emotional experience. So you're 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 relating more with the feeling of what they're going through. Yeah. And so this is this is actually a skill that can be developed. Some people have it more naturally than others. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, but that's where the saying comes in. It's like before you judge somebody, walk a mile in their shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way, if you still want to judge them, at least you're a mile away, <laughs> and you have their shoes. Yeah, exactly. Now, I, I think these I wouldn't have necessarily put them in, in natural opposites, but the, the way that you explain it, it it certainly makes a, a bunch of sense because. Honestly, to empathize with the person that you're hoping to take your side, by taking their side in the first place, they're more likely to see that you have their best interests at heart than if you are cleverer or yell more or are more persistent, which is likely to put their defenses up, right? That's right. That's right. So remember, the goal is connection. Yeah. The goal is oneness. And and you've said it spot on. If you win in the relationship by mm. i guess convincing your spouse and i mean it's not like um you you're genuinely convincing them that you have their best interest at heart yeah. by caring for and and like putting down your need to be right mm-hmm. putting down your need to win this argument and actually saying hey this is an opportunity for me to get to understand you better um so yeah nobody said this was going to be easy <laughs> but if we if we develop an inquisitive mind and actually just say i'm going to just suspend my need to be right right now mm-hmm. and i'm going to just say hey what's what's going on here tell me more about your perspective let me um step into your shoes and let me instead of trying to argue my point mm. let me just step around the table and see hey show me what you're seeing right now let me sit with you let me understand me let, let me let me make you feel that I care for you, that I love you. Hey, and that's a win. And if, if the goal of the argument was to get a win, well, you've still won, but just in a completely different way. And, and I would suggest that that's probably the best win you can get in and, marriage. And there's a bit of a trap here, of course. If we're pretending to be empathetic to manipulatively try and win an argument, then uh, the person that we know that knows us the best is probably going to spot that a mile away. So, uh, so we need to be genuine in our empathy, not to win the argument, uh, but to to build the relationship. 
such a wonderful wisdom and advice. Very much enjoying this um, this Bricks and Hammer series. Of course, you can find out more at the Family Life website, familylife.nz. Vanard, thanks for all that you and the team are involved with. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Andrew.